Creating large-scale public art was always going to be a challenge and there's always risk associated with everything. I was using a very large grinder and I ground through this finger. I've since removed this finger on another public artwork, um, so I do suffer for my art. You sure about this, Clay? I think it's going to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, my name's Clayton, uh, I'm from Australia. Uh, I've brought the crew from uh, Burning Man 2023 and we're out at Nipton just to have a look at some artwork that we developed in 2018. It's perpetual consumption and it's all about this endless cycle that we seem to be trapped in. It's become this iconic piece and even like we were at Burning Man last week, people are still talking about it. Engineering was critically important for this project. If you multiply one or two millimetres by the number of trolleys, if you don't get it perfectly right, there is movement. We were always told that, you know, just be careful people have a tendency to climb things. Oh, yeah. And I said, there's no way anyone will climb that. You know, why would you? We counted, yeah, we counted 30 people up there. For each individual trolley, there's 10 contact points. It's fully certified, we've got full engineering, it'll last forever. <laughs> I think a lot of people who come to Nipton really would like to know more about the origins of the art. So we just bought a plaque from Australia just to let people know that uh, this was featured at Burning Man 2018 and that it is, its origins are from Australia. And so yeah, we're going to attach this to this just so people know what's going on. I just really wanted to publicly acknowledge how appreciative I am of you guys being caretakers of my art. Uh, you know, I've entrusted you with it and, um, and I think uh, people are going to love it for years to come. But uh, here's a plaque that we'd love to install on the artwork when convenient. But thanks guys, I appreciate it. Yeah, two hands. Burning Man 2023 was a challenge. The project was called Odyssey. It was just shy of 30 feet. It was an inhabitable retro rocket ship made from 316 grade marine stainless steel. You could climb up inside the rocket. It had an internal observation deck. On the last day, we had a guy who loved it so much he just wouldn't leave. So we had our first squatter at Burning Man. I mean, he could still be in there. It's in the back of the truck. I should check that. Hello. As the name suggests, Odyssey is about adventure and a journey. And um, I think Burning Man this year was one hell of a journey. We had a lot of rain, which is most unusual for Burning Man. We learnt uh, some new survival skills. It was hard, you know, I'm not going to deny it. There's a saying, the best view is from the highest mountain after the hardest hike. And so we had a hard hike up a really tall mountain. But geez, the, the view was good and we had, you know, we had a great burn. We're about to leave Nipton. We've got some important things to do. We've got two large trucks in Vegas with a rocket in them and parts of the rocket and we need to actually physically remove it and store it. And uh, you can come with me and see what's involved with um, unpacking large scale public art. We're finally here in Vegas. We have a temporary home for the rocket. So the next challenge is to get her out of the truck. And we'll see how we go. So when we shipped it um, initially from the foundry, it was wrapped in a steel frame that we then slid into the container. Transporting it this way is not ideal. My issue is that when we're on plier, we had um, a telehandler or a VR uh, three times the size and lifting capacity. So the guys that have agreed to help us have uh, dropped the ball a bit, given, given us the world's smallest, so it might struggle with the weight. So just go past 20. 20 VRs there. Yeah. Did you did you get it from next door? No. So I went there and found out they closed early, and I was trying oh. to make a, a, a relationship with them. Yeah. And it wouldn't let me use it at all. So I've been using an HE guy for the last yeah. six months. I okay. called him, and with yeah. less than an hour, he, he had what okay. we needed. Right. So. so it's not an operator. I've got to drive it. Uh, yeah, I am an operator, but at this time, I, my lower sciatic is really messed up. Yeah. So I can't really do too much. I've got, right it, now. I've got the license. Uh, you're on. Hi, I'm Caitlin. My role with the rocket this year, Odyssey, is project management. Then if we had the longest straps, we could go around and then just tie. So the straps that we thought were packed yeah. weren't, and so now we're going to go on to Plan B, hoping they work, and we'll just go chat to next door to see if they have some. Alyssa 
dancer. I am the resident give Clay a hard time. That's my role. <laughs> so we've got the bass and the plinth down. Um, the biggest challenge is yet to go, which is the big rocket in the big U-Haul. We're trying to locate some big straps because we're missing those. So they've only got chains. Uh, so the recommendation is if we really want straps, as yeah. we do, but we don't want damage. They don't sell straps? No. To go to Lowe's, we need to buy an industrial strap from Lowe's. But the thing is, these guys knew that we were totally, coming today. Totally, totally. They know, Josh knows ago. the specs of your yeah. truck. Yeah, anyway. So, um, do you want us to run to Lowe's? Yes, please. Okay, so it'll get to the point where these will want to touch the ground, yeah? Uh, yeah. So let's just Yeah, are we worried about it hitting the roof? Yes. We're short of straps, a huge problem. The girls have taken the to Home Depot. I think they're gonna run out of batteries. So it's just another challenge we have to overcome. But I'm gonna go because we're about to pull forward. Don't move just yet. Whoa, stop there. We identified the center spot. Uh, and so we've actually raised that slightly so there's enough. The rocket is actually no longer connected to the truck. We're going to pull the truck forward off the rocket as opposed to extracting the rocket from the truck. Success. <laughs> take the win, you know? I have great news. Uh, it took a lot longer than expected. We had some fundamental and serious equipment that we were missing. We MacGyvered a solution. Uh, as you can see, the rocket is now well and truly out of the truck. This was my goal for today, is to get it out of the truck, get it stored safely, and I think I need a beer. It's not super soft. We could also cook eggs and bacon on this because that is hot. In 2018, I was lucky enough to meet an incredible American artist called Peter Hazel. And in fact, I actually camped with him uh, at his art support camp in 2018. Uh, Peter bought with him uh, what I consider to be the most iconic piece of the year. It was called Bloom, and it was made from literally thousands of hand-blown um, glass discs made out of used um, alcohol bottles. And it took him years to make, and it was incredibly well received. You can see behind me that it's currently being stored. Um, I was speaking to Peter yesterday and he's very excited about creating new uh, blown glass domes um, for the head of the jellyfish. Want to run away with the circus without leaving home? Subscribe and never miss a trick.